Now we are going to take a trip that is a nice experiment in socioeconomical change because in a 10 minute ride we will be able to go from well off middle class bustling business, nice comfortable middle class homes onto an area of uh, post-industrial Philadelphia with abandoned factories. Some of them have been reclaimed as living space with nice loft. At the end of the 19th century, Philadelphia was one of the biggest industrial cities in the world. Many people in Puerto Rico were recruited to come and work, attracted by this by then very vibrant factory activity that no longer exists. And, and now if you look at the setting, it looks like a relic of the past. Then we'll see the collapse of the welfare state with abandoned projects. And we'll make a left there, and that will be the Bloque de Oro, the golden block. It's the heart of the neighborhood. Man-made palm trees to give you memories of beautiful tropical settings. And the golden block has sidewalks have this yellow swirl painted onto the ground to commemorate the dream of getting rich quickly in America. Like many of my patients, I am an immigrant. And when I came here, I didn't feel that comfortable doing clinical practice in English. And I found the possibility of working in with the Hispanic community of North Philadelphia. And I use the word Hispanic, and maybe we could talk about that purposely. I discovered a vibrant community that uh, lives in a very precarious condition that survives in very difficult and challenging uh, situations. I would hear every day at the clinic a report of a death, every single day. And this major thoroughfare is where that building across the street is the clinic's it was called then Centro de Servicios para Hispanos, and it was the first place I worked at for almost five years. As my title there was staff psychologist, and that's where I discovered the neighborhood, the community, and the possibility of psychoanalysis in the barrio.